Welcome. Welcome to this moment of prayer hosted by The Upper Room. I'm Kara Lassen Oliver, the Executive Director for the Christian Center for Spiritual Formation at The Upper Room. In former times, we gathered in the chapel to pray with and on behalf of the world. During this time of crisis, we are gathering together virtually for this moment of prayer. As staff of the Upper Room and partners with you in this journey, we're so honored to have this time to pray with you. On this day, many of us are still heavy with loneliness and worry. COVID-19 continues to impact our daily lives in a myriad of ways. And we come together before the Holy One in the midst of and because of all of that. We come together because that is what we know how to do. So wherever you are, at home, work, in a hospital room, whether you're called to take part in activism or to pray or to lament or to take Sabbath, whether you are alone or with others, know that God is with you right here and right now. As we begin, I invite you to breathe deeply, to breathe in the love of God and to exhale whatever burdens or worries you carry today. Trust that God can hold them for these few moments that we are together. Let us pray. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, this morning I was making my regular drive to meet my friend to walk for our, one of our weekly walks in the morning. And I was listening to the news on the radio. And the news this morning during my drive was all about the wildfires burning in the Western United States and Canada. I heard stories of folks who have survived previous fires. I heard people talking about the trauma that they have from the previous fires and how that's being reactivated as they face another devastating loss. I heard persons talking about how they can only afford to live in the fire zones, even though they know that's not the safest place to build their homes. And I heard the loss of land and property and life in interviews with first responders and climate experts. And my confession to you is that I wanted to zone out. I wanted to turn it off because the immensity of this tragedy is difficult to hear, it's difficult to hold, and it's even difficult to know how to pray. But this morning, as a community gathered here in the presence of God, we'll try to do that together. I want to read Psalm 46 verses 1 through 7 two times this morning. The first time just hear these words that may be very familiar to you. I'll be reading from the CEB. God is our refuge and strength a help always near in times of great trouble. That's why we won't be afraid when the world falls apart, when the mountains crumble into the center of the sea, when its waters roar and rage, when the mountains shake because of its surging waves. There is a river whose streams gladden God's city, the holiest dwelling of the Most High. God is in that city it will never crumble. God will help it when morning dawns. Nations roar, kingdoms crumble. God utters God's voice. The earth melts. 
The Lord of heavenly forces is with us. The God of Jacob is our place of safety. And now as I read a second time, I invite you to imagine God holding this world that God loves so much. Maybe you can recall images of these fires that you have seen in the news or on social media. Maybe you too have been listening and have specific stories. Maybe you are fleeing these fires or you have family or loved ones posting pictures of the smoke and the strange color of the air. But as you hear these words again, I, imagine, I invite you to imagine, to bring all of that to God and to hear again these words from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a help always near in times of great trouble. That's why we won't be afraid when the world falls apart. When the mountains crumble into the center of the sea, when its waters roar and rage, when the mountains shake because of its surging waves, there is a river whose streams gladden God's city, the holiest dwelling of the Most High. God is in that city. It will never crumble. God will help it when morning dawns. Nations roar, kingdoms crumble. God utters God's voice. The earth melts. The Lord of heavenly forces is with us. The God of Jacob is our place of safety. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And now I want to pray with you a prayer written by the um, United Church of Canada, shared for the people of British Columbia. And I share that now as we continue to lift the circumstances and the people and the earth to God in prayer. God of creation, we live in a world where both beauty and danger surround us. Receive our prayers for those impacted by and living in fear of the wildfires across the Western United States and Canada, for all who cannot find adequate food, safety, or shelter, for all who have lost their homes churches, community centers, and workplaces. For all your glorious natural creation that has been destroyed and is in harm's way. For all things, places, and the place that are in need of healing. We pray and ask that you help heal the pain of all affected. Strengthen with your presence all who are numb with fear and distress. Guide those who anxiously search or wait for loved ones. Be near those who are grieving and bless them with your peace. In the midst of disaster, we give thanks for moments of generosity and human kindness. Grant tenderness, strength, and wisdom to doctors and nurses, police and military, firefighters and emergency responders, to the wildfire conservationists and stewards of the earth, to all who minister to human need in our time of distress. We gather these prayers with the assurance that you already know our needs and are already with us. Amen. 
As always, I'm so grateful that you have joined us here today, that you have joined with me to strengthen my prayers and to find way to give voice to all that is happening in the world. Friends, always remember, you are beloved and you are not alone. And all God's people said, Amen.